and a very warm welcome to Bharata First. I'm Frank Rausen Pereira. This is FRP Explains. I'm here to talk about an IRS officer from Arunachal Pradesh who belongs to the scheduled tribes category and his name was on the provisional list of IPS officers at the number two position. He's a 2017 uh, ranked officer. Unfortunately, he can't get into the IPS, not because of anything else, but because his height doesn't allow him to. Uh, he needs to be 165 centimeters in height, but he is 162.5 centimeters in height, falling 2.5 centimeters short. Ojing Damang is his name and he is currently posted in Kolkata in the IRS. He took up the matter in the court and uh, the CAT gave its judgment last week saying that they can't do anything about it because the rules clearly state that you need to be from the scheduled tribes category first and secondly you need to belong to one of those tribes like the uh, Gadwalis, like the Kumaunis, Nagas, Assamese, etc., which he does not belong to, and hence the relaxation cannot be given to him. And he lost his argument and lost the case in the CAT. Now he has decided to take up the matter in the High Court and let's see where that goes. But maybe it will not go in his favor. But the Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh, Pema Khandu, has taken up this issue and raised it with the central government and in particular with the donor ministry and there are some valid points that he has made. He is speaking about how Arunachal Pradesh was part of Assam in 1951 when this particular act was formed and the services condition was put in place. So he argues that when the Assamese are given this special service condition, why not the same benefit be extended to those from Arunachal Pradesh? Because he says that people from Arunachal Pradesh have suffered as a result of this technical glitch. Arunachal Pradesh was later on separated from Assam and made into a union territory first and then finally got separate statehood in the 1980s. So when the Assamese got the same kind of relief, it should have been extended to those from Arunachal Pradesh is what the Chief Minister Pema Khandu is talking about. I'm not going to get into this whole aspect of reservation and whether we should continue this or not because that is a discussion and a debate in itself and we keep that for another time. But in the meantime, as far as this particular case is concerned and nothing beyond it, looking at it from a myopic vision, I would definitely say that Ojing Damang has a case and it should be considered because at the end of the day, you can't change genetics. And if you look at the scheduled tribes that have this relaxation, they all belong to the basic, to the same genetic structure like the Assamese, the Gurkhas, the Kumaunis, the Nagas and others. So the same as far as the tribes in Arunachal are, are concerned too. And I think the exception can be made, but at the end of the day, a law is a law. I guess the central government will have to step in at some point in time and take a closer look at this and ensure that there is equality as far as these kind of laws and these kind of aspects are concerned. Well, with that, it's a wrap on this edition of FRP Explains. If you like the content, you may like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon and then all notifications. For those of you who would like to come forward and make a contribution, you may do so by using our UPI IDs. A small contribution that you make will be a giant leap for us to keep bringing you this content. That's it from me. See you again next time.